So that's our easy last minute Super Bowl party spread. The total cost was around $30 and everything came from Dollar Tree and it probably only took me about an hour. Hello everybody and welcome back to Dollar Tree Dinners. My name is Rebecca and today we're gonna to be putting together a last minute easy Super Bowl party on a budget. This is not gonna be making things from scratch. I did a video just a few days back where I did some Dollar Tree Super Bowl dips and you could certainly reference some of those and I also did some last year as well but I'm trying to make this as last minute, easy and efficient as possible. So it is gonna be a lot of prepared food. So if you're here for cooking, this one's not gonna be the video for you, but if you just want something quick and easy, this is perfect. The total spread that I'm putting together is around $30. And usually when I'm budgeting for a party or a special occasion, I'm usually budgeting around $5 per person. So you're looking to be between four to six people for a spread like this. And of course your guests would potentially be bringing some of their own items and I definitely recommend asking them to bring things like cups, paper plates, and things like that because I'm not including those in the budget. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down into four tiers depending on how much money you want to spend or how many people you're having over. Tier number one is if you only have $10. You can go to Dollar Tree, especially if your Dollar Tree has a plus section, you can get two frozen pizzas. These are $4 each and you can add in a three liter of soda. This is going to put you at $9.25 to feed just a couple of people. Tier two is $15. So that includes the two frozen pizzas and the two liter from tier one, but we're also gonna be adding in two bags of chips and two different types of dips. I went with tortilla chips, salsa, onion dips, and ruffles. Tier three is a $25 spread. So that's gonna include everything in tiers one and two, but we're also gonna be adding in some fried appetizers, any seven of your choice. We're gonna be adding in a bottle of ranch and a second two liter of soda. Eight items at $1.25 each adds an extra $10. So that's how this is $25. And lastly is a $30 tier. So this is gonna take everything from tiers one, two, and three, but also add in a couple of extra little snacks. I went with two boxes of Crunch and Munch, some cheese balls, and some honey roasted peanuts any four extra items of your choice. So just like when I did the brunch on a budget over Christmas time, this isn't so much about the cooking or the ingredients as much as it is about the preparation and the presentation. So let's turn this $30 Dollar Tree spread into a full Super Bowl party buffet. So actually the first thing I'm gonna be working on is kind of like a finger foods or an appetizer platter. And for this, I have four of these snaps, little appetizers. I have the cream cheese pepper bites, loaded potato sticks, mac and cheese bites, and mozzarella sticks. I will also be reviewing all four of these in this video. You can get a couple of extra boxes of these or for some added variety, you can throw in some of these snack rolls. I have the taco bites and I have the buffalo style chicken. And then of course, we're gonna need some kind of a dipper for all of these. And I just went with ranch because I felt like it was kind of all purpose. As far as presentation, you can get a platter like this. This has four compartments with a dipper in the center. Or you can simply do a dinner plate with a small bowl in the center to put the ranch in and then just assemble the appetizers around the perimeter. These little appetizers do have instructions for the oven, the air fryer, and the deep fryer. My air fryer is quite small, so I would have to do this in batches and I don't really wanna do that. So I'm gonna be using the conventional oven instructions, which says to preheat the oven to 450. You can line a baking sheet with some parchment paper just for easier cleanup. And now let's start opening these up and see what we've got on the inside. And for full disclosure, I have tried some of these before. I have not tried the mozzarella sticks and it's been a long time since I tried the mac and cheese bites. These are what the mozzarella sticks look like out of the package and it looks like you get six, seven of them. So here we are for size reference. You can see what that looks like. And I'm just gonna assemble these onto my baking sheet. And the description of these are real mozzarella cheese nestled in a crispy golden coating. And as you notice, I didn't get any marinara sauce, but feel free to add that. Next up, we have the mac and cheese bites. These are breaded and fried macaroni and cheese, proudly Wisconsin cheese. It does look like the packaging has changed since the last time I had it. So it's possible they are a little different from the last time I had it. These are what those look like. And it also, with these, it looks like we get eight. And there are what those look like for size reference. We have slightly different baking times on some of these. So I actually think I'm gonna reduce the oven temperature to 400 instead of 450. Next, we have the loaded potato sticks. 
These say real baked potato, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and flavored bacon in a golden crispy coating. And with these, it looks like we get six. They're about the same size as the mozzarella sticks. And lastly, we have the cream cheese pepper bites. These are kind of like jalapeno poppers, and these are real cream cheese and jalapenos nestled in a golden crispy breading. And with these, we get nine of these. Now technically this all right here is five dollars couple it with ranch and you've got six dollars and 25 cents. You can add a couple of more extra appetizers. As I mentioned I'm doing the snack rolls for some added variety but you can also use this as an opportunity to double up on a couple of these appetizers or beyond the taco bites and the buffalo chicken bites. There is also a pizza roll basically. If you didn't want to do the whole pizza you could definitely do some single serve pizzas or throw in some pizza rolls in place of the whole large pizzas. So we're running out of room on our sheet pan here, but I have also tried these buffalo chicken bites before. I think they're fantastic. And with this, we get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We get 14 of these. And then we have the taco bites, or again, you can do pizza bites. Let's see if we get the same amount. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in that one. Got some extra taco bites, one extra taco bite. I'm gonna pop these in a 400 degree oven for probably eight to 10 minutes. I'll just keep an eye on them. And if I need to flip any of them, I will. While those are baking, I'm gonna assemble a little board with some chips and dip and probably the honey roasted peanuts. If you watched my Super Bowl dip video, I did try some of the packaged Dollar Tree dips in that video, including their house brand of the French onion dip, guacamole style dip, and then their nacho cheeses. So feel free to use any of those. The only one I didn't like was the guacamole dip. And I just thought the French onion dip was a little bland. So I got this creamy onion dip from Uts. It comes with a little bit less, but I think it's gonna have a better flavor. I'm also gonna be doing salsa. Now the salsa that they sell, they have a green salsa and then they have this hot salsa. So definitely if you want something mild, you'll probably have to go with the green salsa. We can start to go in with some of our chips. Probably gonna make a couple of piles around the dip that the chip is focused on. So in this case, we have the French onion dip, which is for the Ruffles chips. And then directly across from that, we can do the tortilla chips with the salsa. There's more tortilla chips than there are Ruffles chips. I tried to find the biggest bag of Ruffles chips that I could, but I think they were all pretty much about the same size. However, the tortilla chips is a six ounce bag. So that's really gonna fill this out, make it look bigger. Since I couldn't really fit the peanuts on the chips and dip platter like I had wanted to, that's totally fine. We can just put those in a bowl of any kind. If you get extra little snacky things like I did with the crunch and munch and the cheese balls, then you're gonna need some extra bowls to put those in as well. That's another thing you could potentially buy at Dollar Tree or use any kind of bowls that you already have. I got two flavors of Crunch and Munch so I can mix them together. And back over Halloween time, I had taken Crunch and Munch and mixed it with Bugles for a sweet and salty snack mix. And that was fantastic. So I definitely recommend that. If you want something sweet and salty, grab a bag of Bugles or something like that to mix in with the Crunch and Munch. These cheese balls are a giant bag for $1.25. So they're kind of a filler for me for the Super Bowl party. So there we kind of have our snacky food. So things that you can potentially just sit out and let people kind of crunch on throughout the day. Of course, again, your friends might bring some things. And total, this was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ingredients. So all of this together totals $10. Another really big kind of filler item, again, if you want to add some sweet, are these duplex cookies. It's a whole pound of cookies for $1.25. I'm not including that in the budget because it would put us over $30. However, I want to show you how I would lay something like this out at a party so it's not just in its original package. This video is more about options and I want to make sure that you can kind of mix and match things based on your store's inventory or put something together. If you wanted to make this even a $35 Super Bowl party, you could get a third pizza and a third two liter of soda. I think these cookies would look really nice on a cake plate. In case you're wondering what one of my favorite Dollar Tree items is, it's definitely these cookies. I think that for the price especially, they are insanely delicious. 
They kind of have no business being as good as they are for how cheap they are. And would you look at that? We have one cookie to spare. I recommend cooking the pizzas last because they have a tendency to get a little bit hard once they sit out and even to maybe slightly under bake them just by a couple of minutes to make sure that they stay soft. So I got a meat trio and a cheese or you can do pepperoni and cheese, whichever you enjoy. The snack bites I believe have been in the oven for probably close to 10 minutes, but they're definitely done. I'm gonna pull them out. The pizzas say 17 to 19 minutes, so I'm gonna aim for closer to, again, 16 to 17, because I am trying to under bake these ever so slightly. So there are all of our appetizer bites. And the only thing I wanna mention about these is that they look great. You can see the difference. So you don't have to worry about the taco bites and the buffalo bites, cause they do look slightly different. I can tell which is which. The mozzarella cheese sticks did kind of spew a little bit, as you can see here. So something to just keep in mind, but that's fairly common with any mozzarella stick in general. And I'm really just gonna kind of pile it up. I do think that the parchment paper was a good call, not only for easy cleanup, but because the ones that aren't touching the parchment paper are kind of sticking to the pan a little bit and you want it to look nice and not kind of fall apart. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the four kind of appetizers and spreading them out first. And then I'll probably fill in the gaps with the little snack bites. I'm gonna use a bowl in the center here just to make this easier to clean later on. And I have a bottle of ranch already open in my fridge that I'm gonna use. Oops. As soon as our pizzas are ready, our Super Bowl party spread is done. You choose to cut the pizza into slices, or if you want it to go a little bit further, you can cut it into squares, but I'm gonna be cutting it into slices. That's our easy last minute Super Bowl party spread. The total cost was around $30 and everything came from Dollar Tree and it probably only took me about an hour to put it all together. Overall, I think that this is a really awesome spread. Again, this is only intended to do like four to six people, especially when you consider the fact that we only have two large pizzas. However, again, ask your friends to bring things to your party if they are, especially things like napkins, paper plates, and things like that. What do you guys think of the Super Bowl spread? but we have to try everything. I think we're gonna start with the appetizers because I think that's the most exciting part of this. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of reviewing Dollar Tree foods and I've done several of them, but I've never done a video about reviewing these appetizers, even though I have tried some of them on my own. So let's start with the mozzarella sticks since I've never tried those. And again, we don't have marinara, but I'm gonna dip them in some ranch. So the mozzarella sticks are actually pretty decent. They have a good amount of cheese on the inside of them. The breading is kind of generic. I'll say that like most of the time when you get a mozzarella stick, the breading has some kind of Italian seasoning kind of mixed into it. And this is just plain breading. So it really pairs well with whatever sauce you decide to dip it in. You don't necessarily have to use marinara sauce, but because the mozzarella sticks don't have much flavor on their own, the flavor would come from whatever you dip them in. So the next one to try is the mac and cheese bites. I mentioned that they changed the packaging and how I felt like they may have changed the recipe slightly, and I was right. These taste a lot different than they did a year ago. I think they taste a lot better than they did a year ago. The, the ones that they made before kind of just tasted like Kraft mac and cheese with some salt and pepper added to it and then breaded, but these ones, these ones are really nice. Um, I would still say that they kind of have like a Kraft mac and cheese feel, but they feel a lot more tender, a lot more I feel like they're just more enjoyable in general. I would show you the inside of some of these. They might be kind of hard to show you what the inside of them look like. We can do the loaded potato stick next. 
which does taste like a loaded baked potato. Looking at the cross section, there is visibly bacon, green onions, cheese. I even see some potato skins in there. So it's essentially like loaded mashed potatoes that are then formed into a tube, breaded and fried. Can't go wrong. This is actually really good. So far, it's my favorite of the three. Next up, we have the cream cheese pepper bite or basically a jalapeno popper. Ooh, that's spicy. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. That one's a little spicy, even for me. And I like spicy things, that one's a little spicy. Number one, they're all great. In order of probably my favorite to least favorite, it would probably have to be tied for first place would be the pepper bites and the loaded potato sticks. Then we're gonna have to say the mac and cheese bites and lastly would be the mozzarella sticks. So do with that as you will. If you wanted to build a platter like this, maybe you could do two boxes of the jalapenos, two boxes of the loaded potato sticks. Now we gotta try our little snack bites and we're gonna try the buffalo chicken first. I'm getting full already. They don't have a ton of filling. They are a lot of air on the inside, but the flavor is really good. It has a nice little kick to it and it does taste like buffalo chicken. I wish I had a little bit more filling in it, but it's a Dollar Tree item, so that's okay. And lastly, for this platter, we have the taco bites. I didn't really quite know what to expect with the taco bites, but they're actually, they taste like Taco Bell's meat. That's probably the best way I can describe that is like if you took Taco Bell's meat and you put it into a pizza roll instead of pizza, essentially it, it just tastes like taco meat. Taco meat breaded and fried. I like those better without the ranch, but everything else I think goes really well with the ranch. I'm already quite full after just trying that kind of handful of things and a lot of the stuff I have already tried. Crunch and Munch, we don't really need to talk about. It's amazing if you've never had it before, which if you've ever had Cracker Jack or Fiddle Faddle, they're all kind of in the same family. Caramel popcorn with peanuts. The cheese balls. I get good bags and I get bad bags. The last bag that I got was okay. It didn't have a whole lot of seasoning on it, but this one is great. It has a ton of flavor and a ton of seasoning. It's kind of hit or miss. I think it just depends on the day that it's manufactured. And I don't really know if there's any way to kind of tell from looking at it, if it's gonna be a flavorful bag or a less flavor or a less flavored bag. And technically I didn't include the cookies in the budget. I think the cookies are fantastic. I've also tried them in the past and I did just kind of eat that one extra when I plated them up. Moving on to things that I haven't tried, we're gonna start with the honey roasted peanuts. Good, crispy, sweet, a great snacking peanut. Honestly, not bad. I don't know how much honey roasted peanuts typically are, but I don't think $1.25 is a bad price for a whole jar of honey roasted peanuts. Swindling down to the chips and dip. I wanna see how hot this hot salsa is. I'm a little worried that's gonna be too hot for me. That salsa is not hot at all. I think the jalapeno poppers were spicier than that salsa is. It has a little heat, it kind of hits you in the end, a little bit of that kind of back of the throat kick, but I would consider this a medium salsa, maybe even teetering towards a mild medium, but it's definitely not hot. That one's a safe choice if you're not quite sure if you would enjoy it. I don't think it's spicy at all. I think the jalapeno poppers were spicier than that. And of course we have our French onion dip, which I love French onion dip. This French onion dip is more of a French onion dip. The Dollar Tree one that I tried, just to kind of give you, in case you didn't see that video, the Dollar Tree one that I tried was a little sweet and a little bland, and it just kind of tasted like onions. And this also came from Dollar Tree, but the difference is this is the Utz brand, whereas the Dollar Tree was like the Homestyle Selects brand. And you get twice as much with the Homestyle Selects brand, but this is a much better French onion dip overall. We're almost done here. We've got the pizzas, which we have the meat trio and the cheese pizza. I, I have tried the cheese pizza in the past, but I've never tried the meat trio. These Tony's pizzas are a little bit like cafeteria pizza in a sense, like they're not DiGiorno quality. They're more like what you would have gotten as a kid when you had school lunch. I feel like they're kind of underrated as a general cheap pizza. I personally really like them, but I also really like cheap food. And then last but not least, we have a couple of sodas here. Now, these are almost three liters. They're 2.75 liters. So they're quite large for $1.25. I got lemon lime and I got Coke basically, because I thought those would be your kind of general flavors. Let's start with the lemon lime or the knockoff Sprite. Tastes a little flat. 
Not very good. I'm gonna say that's a no. Hopefully the Coke is better. The cola tastes a little bit more like Pepsi than Coke. I have tried their carbonated fruit punch in the past. I thought that one was pretty good. I would say the between these two, I prefer the Coke to the Sprite, but that's just because the Sprite tastes kind of flat. I wonder if I got a bad bottle. Maybe. Well, needless to say, I enjoyed this video. I know it's not really my traditional content. Usually I do a lot of cooking and this was nice to kind of take a break from cooking and just talk about prepared foods and how you can still have a really nice Super Bowl party on a pretty small budget. $30 is not a lot of money these days. You'll see that in a future video that I'm planning to do here soon. I don't always eat at home. We do order pizza. We go out to eat every once in a while. And whenever I go order pizza, we usually get two Wisconsin six cheese pizzas from Domino's and that can run us around $40 just for two pizzas. I want to just mention that because I know that somebody's going to think $30 is a lot of money. It can be quite expensive to entertain, especially when you're making everything from scratch. And I thought that this was a really nice middle ground. And again, feel free to reference the dips video that I posted the other day. Feel free to reference my Super Bowl videos from last year. If you want some things that you can potentially make yourself and bring to a Super Bowl party, but if you're hosting a Super Bowl party or you kind of decided last minute that you want to have some friends over, throw something like this together. Comes together in less than an hour, costs less than $30. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon.